and malign influence of others. The Honourable Member for Birmingham Hodge Hill, for the Rhondda, for Exeter, for Gravesham and myself have been shown documents that we believe relate to our national security and money laundering. They originate from Monaco's Sûreté Publique, the Department of the Police which manages security and foreign residents in that area. They are based on the Security Public's own information and on information which has been provided by the French Direction de la Surveillance du Territoire, the DST, which at the time was the French equivalent of MI5. These documents are brief, terse, factual files listing activities, associations and judicial actions. They have been authenticated by senior French intelligence sources and by British and American counterparts familiar with their contents. The documents link a, a, a link a noted individual in this country with Russian intelligence. These files are dated from 2005. They cover the period from the mid-1990s. The documents concern Christopher Chandler and his brother. Christopher Chandler is a public figure owing to the Legatum Institute. In sight of this evidence, I note the words of the Honourable Member for Exeter, who in November 2017 uh, called for the House's Intelligence and Security Committee to examine Mr Chandler. According to the French Security Services, as recorded by their colleagues in Monaco, and clearly I am confident that these documents are genuine, Mr Chandler is described as having been, quotes, an object of interest to the DST since 2002 on suspicion of working for Russian intelligence services. I repeat that. An object of interest to the DST since 2002 on suspicion of working for the Russian intelligence services. Please do. Ben Bradshaw. As he rightly said, I first raised concerns about Legatum and Mr Chandler back in November. Does he agree with me that the information he's just put in the public domain, combined with the growing concern about corruption, money laundering and the sale of passports in Malta, where Chandler has just acquired citizenship, demand urgent investigations by the UK authorities now. Here, here. Here. At intervention, I'm aware that the Honourable Member has seen these documents and he shares my concerns, and I believe the Member for Hodge Hill, should he have the privilege of being called to speak, will talk further on that point and make reference to these files. Thank you.